It's Jackie. If you're new here, my name's Jackie. Spelled with a Q, J A C Q I E. Um, today's video is a fun one. I did a little shop my stash. Hi. Cameron says hi. It's my son. If you've never been here before, my son Cameron he likes to peek in now and then in my videos. Um, yeah, so I did a little shop my stash today, and I found some makeup that I haven't used in a minute. And we played with it. So if that interests you, then you're in for a good one. Um, if you enjoy beauty related content, a little bit of crazy jackiness, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely appreciate it more than you know. And next to that, there's a little bell. Ring the bell and you will become part of the hashtag notification nation and YouTube will alert you as soon as my videos go up. Uh, today we played with a little bit of cover girls, some believe beauty, some essence, some shop miss a, Milani, all kinds of goodies. So yes, this is a fun video and I hope that you enjoy it. So yeah, I guess that's all there is to say. Let's just hop into the video. Okay, so I look like I'm centered in the viewfinder. Let's hope I'm actually centered this time. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Anyways, so yeah, sorry about the uh, off-centeredness that was the last video. So today I thought it would be fun if I picked out some makeup that I haven't used in quite some time and we just play with it. So this is kind of a little bit of a shop my stash, except I'm the one who shopped it and you're just going to see what I shopped for. Does that make sense? Because it's, I'm not quite organized back there. I don't know if you can tell, it's a hot mess. So I figured it'd just be easier for me to find the stuff than to try to find it while filming. Does that make sense? So there's that. So to start off, I, I'm gonna put on my eye primer to start. Cause you know, eye primer. I always start with my eyes, we know this. I don't think this battery is going to last me this whole video, so yay, if I'm centered now and not centered later, you'll know why. Uh, good times, good times. Good story, bro. Good story. Alright, trying not to put myself in the eye. Hello. I like our eyes. I like our eyes a lot. mirror issues. I need to, I just need a really good mirror that stands there. That doesn't shake when I shake or I don't know. It's all good. Just my new issues, you know. No serious problem. I can feel I can deal with it. Oh my gosh, it's getting warm again. I think it's gonna be in the eighties again today. It's been in the eighties last couple of days. Look at this, my friend. Do you see my friend who decided to show up? Yes, my friend. He's not my friend. You're not my friend. I tried to send him home, but he stayed. <sighs> Anyways, okay. I use my Believe Beauty. I'm sorry, that's what I used. It's good, it works, I like it. All right, we are gonna do, we're throwing it back to something I have not used on my channel in a minute. And what I'm talking about is the CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch Palette. Look at it. Yes, I wore, I think I wore this on my wedding day. If I'm not mistaken, three years ago. So there it is. Yeah, we're gonna play with that. Let's see if we can make something pretty. Let's 
try something pretty. All right, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start off with this lightest shade, and I'm going to use that as a transition. It still smells like peach. I guess I already used to smell like chocolate. I'm losing my mind. So this is basically the same color as my eyelid. So that's cool, right? Sorry about the air conditioner again. It is just like 80 degrees in my house. I turned it on earlier than usual because the sun is shining bright. And yeah, heating my house up. All right, so that's a nice little bone shade, skin toned, my exact skin color shade. Oh, okay. I'm not hoping it would at least give a little more hint of color, but I guess eh, something to for the other shade to lay down on to, I guess. Help blend it out. Okay, let's find another brush. Okay. All right, I'm going to go into... <laughs> Into, go into the peachy shade right there. My battery's about to die already. Okay, hold on, let me change the battery. Okie dokie. That battery didn't last long, did it? I need some better backup batteries, let me tell you. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go into the peach shade. Alright, so we're gonna put that in the crease. And it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> because I said so, just work with me. <laughs> that is pretty. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this palette was like $9.99 at Walmart. They had no other palettes too that I thought about getting one of them. And I was like, I don't know. I just don't know if... $10 is really worth it for these. No offense, cover girl, but I just feel like you can do better. I mean, it's a nice palette, but it doesn't like stay all day. It's not as vibrant as other palettes. I mean, it's nice, it, it does blend out beautifully. It's just, I don't know. I, I've, I've paid cheaper for better quality. You know what I'm saying? I have very, very high standards when it comes to my makeup. I'm not a high-end person. If I, I don't, why pay so much? I don't need to pay that much money to make myself look good. I will look just as good with affordable makeup, so why waste my money? Just so I can be like, ooh, I have Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury. Who cares? Nobody I know cares. Nobody I know even knows anything about makeup. <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm just It's true though. The only person that I know that actually cares about makeup. Struggle's real. Anyways, I mean, in my life, per se, like everyday, day to day life. I know my sister likes makeup, but. Yeah, she lives so far away. Way out there in the city. Anywho's, so there's that. I like that color. That is a very pretty color. Now what? I'm gonna go in the outer outer corner. In the outer corner, I'm gonna go with this shade, this brown shade right there. I'm just going to put that in the outer corner and a little bit in the outer crease. Deepen that up a tad. Well, they do blend well together. I don't know. I just feel like I can. There's a lot of kick up in the pan for, for not, I mean, for the amount of kick up you get in the pan, you would think that you would get more pigment in your first go. 
Does that make sense? Am I talking <laughs> rationally? Am I making any sense to anybody? I got a early today. Jackie, why are you so talkative? Okay, that's pretty. Let's go back out. Let's go back in with that peach shit again. Just to kind of blend the edges. It's another thing too, I feel like it just blend it blends well, but it blends away easily. For ten dollars, we've gotta do better in my book. I have That's a girl living in a trailer park. Okay. <laughs> this is wrong with me today. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna go. Hmm. Gonna go in. Wow, Jaggy, what are you gonna go in with? I'm gonna go in with this, this like taupey shade put that on the middle and outer part using finger. Wow, that is really soft shadows. That is really soft. I'll give it that. You're soft. You're soft, cover girl. I'll give you that. Okay. Nothing special? See, this is what I'm saying. Like, is this worth $10? I don't I'm not blown away by anything. My favorite color was a peach color we put in the crease. I mean, did I like it when I first got it and I really like didn't have a whole lot of makeup to play with? Yes. I loved it. I don't remember 100%. But it's only been three years and I still, I don't remember 100% what I wore in my wedding, but I feel like it was this palette, because I feel like I didn't have any other palette. Okay, and then on the inner portion, I'm going to go in with this pretty pink shade right there. And it has like a goldish shift, it has a little bit of gold in there. So. Is it there? I don't like it. This is why I shot my staff. See what kind of stuff that's been sitting around and why, why I think it's been sitting around. I think this has been sitting around because it does not wow me. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. But I could do better with other palettes. I'm like this, this is... that wow factor. It's just there. I don't know guys. I don't love it. I'm not even sure I like it. The reason I haven't used this in like years ago. Alright. Well because that lighter Shimmer doesn't really go well with that. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer. Right. Hello here. I'm gonna go over 
the outer part with that shade. I just don't feel like that lighter shade really did anything to help this pink situation out. So we're just going to go over that lighter. I mean, is it pigmented? Some of them, yeah. But they're like, I don't know. I guess they're more satin, less shimmery. And that's where I'm kind of like, meh. You know? Does that make any sense? Pretty. Not loving it. All right. Back into a peach shade, clean up the crease a little bit. That was peach, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was peach. Doesn't look peach anymore. What the heck? Alrighty. Clean up the outer edges. And. Lashes. Draw my lashes real quick. Okay, and for mascara, I'm gonna use the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I haven't used this in a minute. The light's still coming. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. Oh, well, it's putting stuff on my lashes, so still works dry. That's all right. Yeah, I think this mascara is probably on its way out. I mean, I love the mascara, but I have had it for a while, and it is getting a little on the drier side. So there is the eyes. Using the CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch Palette. Man, when I was first getting started doing this, I thought this was the shoes. And now, with all the other makeup that I have discovered, I now realize, me, it's a it'll, it'll work in a pinch, but it's not something I'm going to reach for um, ever again, probably. All right. Next, I shopped my stash for a primer, and I came across my hydrating face primer from the AOA Shop Miss A site. This, which I remember really liking because it was very hydrating. So that is what I'm using as my primer today. So nice. I do enjoy a good hydrating primer. My face needs any hydration I can get from anywhere I can get it from. Seriously, I have the worst dry skin. It's 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 a it's a <laughs> it's anybody gonna watch this video? All right, that felt good. That felt good. I like that. Let it sit there for a moment. I'm in a good mood today. I don't know. Can you tell by the way I'm talking? Like five million times. I, yep. Yep. That's what we do. Five million times. <sighs> Just don't. All right. It's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. Okay. A uh, foundation I haven't used in a minute. It hasn't been too, too long, but I, it, it has been a minute is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Excuse me, box, you need to focus. Right there. Thank you. 
and this is in the shade Ivory. It's 00AA Ivory. So I'm going to hold that out. Hopefully it just worked out. Are you going to see? Oh, good. It still worked out. Okay, great. Put that on my finger. I'm going to tap it on with my finger. It's a very thick foundation, so I try not to tap on too much. to blend it out. I'm using this paddle foundation brush. I don't know why. It just seemed like a good brush to use to. Let's, let's blend it out and then I'll go over that with a um, Hi. With a sponge brush. go over the brush with a brush. Used one of these brushes in a minute. Oh, isn't that the cutest little pimple you've ever seen? No. <laughs> Get off my face. <sighs> Man. See, Jackie, this is why people think that you're not the reason. Because you act like a child. It's time to grow up, woman. Grow up. Gosh, now we're going to move on to a sponge. I'm going to add a little to the sponge. on the nose, that is my biggest issue area. My dry skin, redness, and stupidity. Yes, all my stupidity, it's in my nose. Yeah, right there. All right, we're just gonna blend, ouch. It's nicely patted into the skin. For some reason, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, even though I know I know what I'm doing. I know I know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, isn't that precious? All right. There we go. That is all nice and blended in. Now we're going to go for a concealer. And once again, we are going back to the Shop Miss A. We're going to use this AOA Studio Liquid Concealer in the shade Fair Ivory. That is a concealer I'm going to use under my eyes. And a little dot right there. I don't know, that's it. Yeah, that's not letting is it. It's a little darker than my foundation. What fun is that? I love it when that happens. Sometimes sarcasm, it's my best friend. All right, I'm gonna use this fun little brush I got from Shop and Say. And I'm going to blend that with a little brush. I'm 
little more over yarn. I basically just made that every time. Alright, and then we use the sponge and we're going to dab over that. You guys are like, we know how to do this woman. But in case you forgot, <laughs> hi, here I am. Showing you everything. Okay, so there's that. Oh my gosh, I'm going to blend. out nicely huh all right now we need some powder and I'm going to use an oldie but a good powder I have not used in a while a chair with wheels I'm use the Cody air spun loose face powder hello now this is a potent, potent uh, powder. If you want to smell like grandma, this is your powder. Check here. All right, I'm gonna dab it out and then dab it out. Oh yeah. I wonder what kind of makeup my grandmother wore. You know what my mother wore? She wore like cover girl. I don't like her face powder though. I don't know if she ever actually covered her face. I wish I paid more attention, but I didn't. So that's on me. I have a hard time getting in here with a big brush, so I always use this brush to get in there. Powder that down. And then also in between the eyebrows. Hard time. Not that hard time with those weird creases I get there. Because I smile and frown a lot. Yes, who doesn't? Okay, now we need a bigger brush because I'm going to use this for the rest of my face too. <sighs> what? I know. Alright. I'm sure my forehead lines aren't doing things I don't want them to do, like caking up and creasing. Oh yes, the good old days. What was this? 50s, 60s, 70s? Sometime before I was born they used to smell like this. I'm being ridiculous. Trying to make you giggle. You guys are like, it's not working, y'all. We stopped watching you five minutes ago. Wait, wait. Let's see my mind. Try not to powder on top of the nose because that's like where it gets all dry and flaky. You no, know? but see, you know what? I've noticed something. No matter whether I powder the top of my nose or not. It's gonna get dry and flaky. It's a fly my condition. Stupid dermatitis things are not BS. Okay, 
So we have reached that. Now I'll let that just kind of sit there and settle. I'm going to do my brows. And today I have chosen to use the Believe Beauty Universal Brow Kit. Yes, I'm going to use powder brows today for fun. I'm going to use one of my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow. Oh, I wore the... It's an e.l.f. eyebrow brush. I just wore off the... Uh, wore off the letters. I've had it for a minute or two. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag my spoolie into the wax. Just a little bit. I'm going to run that wax through my brows. And that will help hold the powder in my brows. You guys are live, Jackie. We know this. Well, hey, maybe you're new here and you don't know this. That was kind of a lot of powder. Or wax. That's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to do. Yeah. The wax is a little softer than I remember it being, but it could be because it's been so hot that it's softened up in there. Because, yeah, it's, it's a soft wax. Okay, well, there's that. All right, now I'm going to go into this medium brown shade. I'm going to start putting that through my eyebrows. Huh? Like, oh my god, so definitely got too much wax right there. Ah, the camera's done. Okay, brushing a little bit of that power through because I kind of got a lot of wax in some spots, so <laughs> that intensified that for sure. It's been a minute since I used this with the wax, so I may have gone a little heavy with the wax. And that's causing my brows to be very dark and crazy looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, videos are fun. Oh man, I think I got the wax on my Yeah, maybe we like wipe this off a little. What about old bee breath? Okay. Normally I do really good with this, but I think I just want a little a little crazy with the wax. Next time, maybe not do that. <laughs> Next time, maybe we use a little less wax. Okay. I'm Canadian now, okay? So the brows are not beautiful today, but they're done. And they're done. Okay, I'm going to powder of the brows where all that lovely wax was with my bar. See, this is what happens. We haven't used stuff in so long that, like, you're like, holy crap, I didn't realize. I forgot how that wax worked. You know? Well, now you know. <laughs> in case you want to use it again. It is a good product, though. Just don't go crazy with the wax. The wax was the issue. No, the wax wasn't the issue. My obsessive application of the wax was the issue. 
anyways so there is that okay now let's move on to I'm gonna go into the Believe Beauty this is the Get Glow and Highlight and Contour palette I'm going to use the bronzer in here well it says contour but it's a bronzer it's a bronzer it's not contour so I'm going to grab my bronzing brush that I love so much. It's like the only brush I use for bronzing. I should really branch out, huh? Yeah, Jackie. You might want to branch out. Okay, and I'm going to go into this. As you can see, I've used it before many times. It's been a while. So, let's use it now. Ooh, it's so pretty. I do like it. And the sun, it kind of glistens. It, I thought it was more of like a matte um, bronzer, but no, it, 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 it's more of a satin matte, so it will, like, glisten in the sun. So if you go too crazy, you look like a disco ball. I learned that the hard way. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but it is a very nice, very nice shade. It works very well. In my personal opinion. I like Believe Beauty products. I haven't, I really haven't found too many Believe Beauty products I don't like. I don't, I don't think. I keep whacking my elbow on the table. How nice it's so even and just such a nice a nice shade not orange but like not like ashy Somebody who has three chins, though I do have three chins. I gotta stop eating them so much. <sighs> yes, I love it. I'm loving it. All right, Jamie. All right, now we're gonna get a whoops blush brush because we are using the same. same palette and we're gonna go into the blush right here it's a nice peachy satiny peach blush it's a little powdery very pigmented I must say yep. very 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 careful because it is pretty but pigmented Good for summertime. Nice summer peach. Always add some to my nose and my chin and my forehead. Kind of bring it all together. See? Isn't that beautiful? I think it's gorgeous. Okay. Very nice. Have not used that palette in a while. I missed it. All right, highlight. Hey, highlighter. Uh, for highlight, I'm going to use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and pray that it's not too dark. This is 10, be my highlight. Works for everyone, supposedly, although I swear to God, on me, there are times where it's too dark. I don't know why. We're going to go for it. How does my mirror keep? Oh, 
that's pretty. Okay, it's not terrible. Um, no, I guess it's, I kind of see a little shadow. See what I mean? I don't know, it's weird. I didn't even use that much, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, maybe once I use setting spray, it'll settle down. Settle down! It's there. It's subtle. I wish you did more for me, Essence, but I don't know. I can't, I can't get as hype with you as everybody else. Okay, I'm going to use a setting spray to kind of set this all down. So I'm going to use a Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray my face, just kind of settle down with powders and stuff, and then we'll finish the eyes and pick a lip, which is going to be interesting because I don't know if I have my lip stuff. Anyways, we'll find one. Okay, let's finish the bottom lash line. Let's do that. What do I think I want to do for the bottom lash line? I think I want to take the pink, that, no, not pink, that peachy transition shade, or pre-shade we used. Okay, I'll just show you. That one? <laughs> and I want to put that under my eye. For a nice, subtle peachy wash. Is the outer corner brown right there? And just add a little to the outer corner. Just a little. And then take that peachy shade and buff the edges. And then put on, you guessed it, mascara. <sighs> oh yeah, let's do this. Oh boy. As long as this stuff's in not smell bad, then we're gonna... Nope, smells exactly the same. Okay, this is a throwback. I don't know what lip liner I used to use with this, but... This is a throwback lip liner because I use them. But my throwback lipstick is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte Lipstick in the shade Current Nude. I used to love, love it. And I'm using Melrose Place uh, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner. And here we go. I'll need a mirror. Alright, my lips are lined. Now we go in. <sighs> ah, it's been a while. It still smells the same. It's always had this strange smell. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. You love my hair. I know. I have got to stop being lazy and do stuff with my hair. I'll try not to fry it, so anyways. This is the final look using all the stuff that I shopped my stash for. 
there were some good throwbacks, some duh throwbacks. Just, yes, it's fun going through your makeup and going, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. And then you use it and you're like, oh, that's why I don't use that. <laughs> it's a good time. You should try it. Try going through your stash and seeing what, just what products you forgot about that were great or what products you forgot about because, well, there was a reason you forgot about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I enjoyed creating it. And yeah, hopefully you will tune in for some future videos. I always got something going on over here. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.